In the directionals, you make decisions on where to hit the ball based on the ball crossing or not crossing your body. It's the relationship between the ball and the player, not the ball and the court, that is most important. The first step in understanding this tactical system is defining outside and inside shots. Here we see David and Joanne in a cross-court forehand rally. Shots that cross the body are called outside shots. These are outside forehands. And these are outside backhands. Balls that don't cross the player's body are inside shots. David hits an inside backhand. And he hits an inside forehand. In this program, we'll indicate when to change the direction of the ball, when not to change the direction of the ball, and when to make a 90 degree change of direction. That is, when to hit the ball perpendicular to the baseline. Let's begin with the direction guidelines for your basic strokes. The first direction guideline for ground strokes is, on outside shots, you do not change the direction of the ball. Why? When you don't change the angle of the ball, you're hitting the ball perpendicular to the racket face at a right angle. This allows for a greater margin of error. It is the high percentage shot where significantly fewer errors are made. We see the players here not changing direction on outside forehands. and not changing direction on outside backhands. Guideline number two is, on inside ground strokes, you hit the ball with a change of direction. This inside backhand is hit cross court. And so is this inside forehand. The high percentage shot for balls that don't cross your body, inside balls, is to change the direction of the ball. Why? Because hips and shoulders naturally rotate on inside shots. The distinction between outside and inside balls is crucial to learning this tactical system. Let's look Hands short, they typically change direction of the ball by hitting down the line. Aiming for the sideline is a low percentage shot because there is little margin for error. The third guideline for the directionals is to hit all short outside balls with a 90 degree change of direction. This means that you hit the ball perpendicular to the opponent's baseline as we see in these examples. This 90 degree angle produces a higher percentage shot with more room for error. And when you don't have to aim for the sideline, you can concentrate on the depth of the shot, which makes it a more penetrating shot. Some players have very strong forehands and use them to set up and control points. These players with a weapon run around their backhands and hit penetrating inside-out shots that force short balls. The first guideline for players with a weapon is, on deep inside-out forehands, there is no change of direction. The second guideline for players with a weapon is, on short inside forehands, there is a 90 degree change of direction. This usually occurs off three-quarter depth or shorter balls. 